Hello gamers, it's Softkitty99 and today we're back in House Flipper for the Luxury Flipper expansion and we're going to be taking a look at one of the new jobs. This will be the sixth job on this area. Oh, and we've been given two new jobs to do, you see. We've got all the ones that we've already done, we've got the little green check marks. So there's a new building over there, a new building on the shoreline. And the one that we didn't do in the last episode is this one right here on the beachfront. So I think we'll be going to that one now. A warehouse for memories. When Lucia and Dan stumbled upon a port warehouse for sale, they saw a potential for a trendy industrial loft right away. They've been looking for a bigger apartment for some time now, in hope to finally have enough space to accommodate their gradually growing friend circle. A vision of their home, dream home is quite far away at the moment, but the couple believes this place will become their safe haven. Ooh, so we're going to turn a port warehouse into a lot. Well, it's quite a modern style building, isn't it? Very reminiscent of the modern house that we did a couple of jobs ago. And we can see the yacht look that we've also done before. Lots of storage barrels in the garden. We're going to need a lot of cleaning up, I think. Graffiti on the walls. Yeah, a lot of cleaning up. But look at that, we've got access to the little like canal area and right on the beach front, so that's a beautiful location. It's not exactly a house, I know. But I've heard you're a real miracle worker. I'm sure you will make this place habitable. Even if the last caretaker didn't make your job any easier. We that's like nice the roughness <laughs> of the building though. This is supposed to be a grown-up living space after all. We've always liked hanging out with our friends. And since we're getting a bit too old and tired for clubbing, we wanted to finally get an apartment big enough to sit around and enjoy our company comfortably. I think it's big enough for Probably that. you had more experience with couples getting a bigger home to start a family, but it definitely is not our case. Child-friendly is not something you need to worry about while designing this place. Good, because I don't it think it's very like safe for kids. It looks like you've got a lot of work ahead. So I won't take any more of your time. <laughs> Have fun! Well, we'll try. So we're doing a nice conversion. A warehouse for memories. So this is going to be a huge conversion effort. Oh, this could be fun, this one. So we've got a couple. They're not planning kids in the near future. It's going to be a hangout space for them and their friends. Oh, look at that. Lovely little like, square out the front. And then you've got the canal on the back and the seafront on the front. So, oh, that's nice views from three angles. That's lovely. Oh, look at that right onto the beach. Oh. Yeah, there is a beach there right in the, off the square. But I think the water's right... Yeah, the water's right up to the side because it was a port warehouse, wasn't it? So sh ships would have come in here and on the canal side. So, yeah. So there isn't actually a beach on your property. So you're not going to have nosy people coming down the beach at the side of your house. So that's cool as well. But it means you let your beachfront's right next to you, but there's not a lot of it, so... Yeah, not a big garden, but I don't think they're the sort that want big gardens. Just enough to sit out and uh, enjoy the waterfront views. Yeah, it's a lovely location, they're right, very nice location. Ooh, we need to try not to sell the slabs, don't we? Because I bet we can't match them. Let's try carefully not to sell the slabs. So yeah, try and use the... Um, hands as much as you can to lessen the likelihood of accidentally selling the slabs as you go for this one. Lots and lots of debris from its old usage here, all these oil drums and things. And pallets and stuff to get rid of. And then to need to move some of these slabs back into place, they've been dislodged. Hope they're all there, because like I said, there's no way we'll be able to match them more there that need to be moved back into place and somebody's been graffitiing all around the building so we'll need to get the house pipe out and give that all a good clean. That's most of the debris out the back here. Carefully remove these weeds. See if we're allowed to cut the grass. I hope we are because it'll just make it neater. Let me get them all. Yay we got them. Right clean off the smudges from the unloading. Right, 
Is this all clean? I think so. Might be a few weeds around there. Yeah. That's not too bad. I think that's moved most of them black markers. Let's see if we can put some of these slabs back in and ma match up the orientation. It can be a bit fiddly sometimes to get in the right spot. Hmm, I think we might be missing one or two. So we'll, we'll put it back together as best we can. I think we need to move that one a little bit for the overlap. All right. Before we can get this one in right. Yeah, we'll put every, as much of it back as we can. Because I bet we can't match it. I think this is the style that you can't match. So we'll do the best we can. That's not quite right there. Slightly too high. Is that right? No, a little bit closer. So the position of these things can be a little bit tricky still. No, it's still not right. It's kind of on top. Cool. Oh, I want to go in right. Let's run, why won't you go in? There we go, down. Yeah, if you see it just sort of lift up and then go down a bit. It's a little bit finicky. Run up and down, drop it, right. <laughs> Rotate, go back to the right orientation, and up, and up, still, up, up. Go on, go down. Oh, had it and then I didn't have it. There we go. So yeah, there's a couple missing, but I don't see them anywhere. That side's okay. That's definitely missing a bit at the end. And I don't think two of these will quite fill the gap around here. So we've got a choice. Make them in the centre, level them with one end. Which way should we do it? Should we level it with the house? Make it level with the house. Oh, that's that's up a little bit again. I've got that up down movement thing again. Can we sort that? There we go. Right, so there's a couple missing here, but I don't think they're in the garden. So we've done the best we can with what we've got left. Up to the clients to decide if they want to change it later. Right, so we'll get rid of some of the graffiti. Right, there are some marks. Are the marks just the graffiti or is there something else? I think it might just be the graffiti. Yeah, it's just the graffiti, right, so. Yes, yeah, so there's an awful lot of cleaning in this episode, I think. In fact, that might be all we do today is just clean everything up so that it's ready for the actual renovation work later. So we'll go around and make sure there's no marks on the outside of the building. There's definitely some more graffiti around the other side, so we'll double check all the way around. Lots and lots and lots of patio doors look there so lots and lots of access to see the views and since your view is the ocean that's a really nice thing and it gets lots of lighting as well hence why they really liked the building so yeah let's get rid of all these pallets from it being a warehouse and lots and lots of stacks of stuff to get rid of. You'd have a big parade of skips coming and going, wouldn't you, from uh, clearing this out? So we've got what? Uh, we've got quite a decent budget, I think. I think we'll be fine here. A lot of the interior is probably going to be either left as brick or maybe a bit of white paint because we've on the modern feel again. Probably a lot of it's going of the interior is going to be left um, brick, isn't it? Because she said she liked the Lucia. Said she liked the um, rough finish of the place. So the open brickwork is probably going to be a bit of a feature of her style and vision for the place. That's my guess anyway. Right, I think the outside is now clear and clean. I would like to run the mower around the grass. But in a lot of the work orders we don't always get access, no we haven't got access to a lawn mower so we're not allowed to do that. Okie dokie, let's go inside. There's still some marks on the outside of the house. I'm hoping we can reach all of those from the balconies upstairs.
think that's everything. Kinda hoping to find those last couple of slabs somewhere in the ground, but I don't think they're there. Nope. Up. Let's go inside then and start clearing up. So we've got the garage door, but that just leads straight into the main body of the place. So you've got two choices here. You could separate a section off for a garage, or you can turn it into a room or something. wonder how much adjustment that would mean for fitting in some of the doors. They want us to do. They want us to sell the garage door all there, so they're going to want it converted into part of the house. So there is there is um, space in a drive for a car, so that wouldn't stop you being off road parking. So yeah, they're going to turn it into a room. So we're going to get to see how to take out the doors and convert it into part of the house. So that'll be quite cool. See how much work that needs. So many pallets. There's definitely a warehouse. <laughs> Not many pallets. It wouldn't be found anywhere but a warehouse. See, almost all the entirety of the walls is the big patio doors. So it's almost an entire glass wall, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's kind of like the closest you can get to a full glass wall in these buildings, isn't it? By putting in loads and loads of patio doors like this. Oh, that's quite cool, actually. Very modern house feel. Yeah, this space could make a lovely little house, couldn't it? Cool. Right. So the downstairs didn't need too much clearing then. It's a, just one great big open space at the moment. we reach that? Ooh, are we going to have to buy scaffolding to be able to get rid of that? Or can we, well, we could probably reach that one off the balcony, but I don't know about the one at the far side. Ceilings is uh, one of the biggest problems for, for marks and things on this building, isn't it? Stairs need a refurb as well. Yeah, it's mostly ceilings needing a bit of a clean. Oh look, it's like the, like the concrete slabs are held up by concrete rafters. So yeah, so it is kind of a, a rough feel of the build, but it's also kind of an architectural feature as well. And such huge high ceilings. A bit of a mezzanine up here. Be a nice little library reading or coffee space on this mezzanine, wouldn't it? Oh dear, that's a mess. <laughs> it's kind of being used as a break room. And uh, it's rather a mess. <laughs> What's underneath that? Oh, it's drums. Wow. Okay. Interesting table. It shocked it didn't roll away. <laughs> now, there's nothing wrong with those chairs. Are we keeping them? Or probably not. Oh, no, we're definitely not keeping them. The chair went away with the uh, rubbish. Oop, I need the actual cell tool for the barrels. And then the hand tool is the only way to get rid of the little plastic bags, the packaging material stuff. And the hands also get rid of the cans and bottles in, in groups, rather, whereas the cell tool only does them individually. So a little bit of switching between the tools to get your fastest removal going on. Is that all the stuff off the floor? Oh no, one more bottle. Right, cleaning again. The cleaning's going really well actually, considering how much stuff there was in here. It's getting done really fast. Right, uh, balcony, let's have a look. So there's the view of the canal and the view of the ocean from this side. So that'd be a nice place to sit. So some furniture out here would be nice. Is there anything to clean? Oh, I'm cleaning and I don't think there's anything to actually clean. That's good. So, a little 
little bathroom area here. It's going to need to be changed. Right, what are we... Clean dirt. Yes, we've got to get rid of the sink and the toilet and the plumbing system, so everything's going to be sold in that room. It probably will be turned into a proper bathroom, then that little room, and then this one will be the bedroom, is my guess. Because that's really the only two rooms that are separated off, isn't it? If this is the bedroom and, and the ne next door is the, t is the bathroom, and then everything else is open, party space, relaxy space, fun times with friends space. <laughs> This is the last room for cleaning and then there's the front balcony to clean up and then we're about done I think, at least in the cleaning up section. So yeah, I think we'll finish the cleaning up in this episode and then we'll actually start on the proper renovation in the next episode. There we go, a little bit of a clean, don't forget the ceiling, most of the marks are on the ceiling in this house. There's still a mark somewhere, what's the mark? What we miss? Oh, there's something still on the floor in the centre. We'll have to swap to the other tool. There we go. And then on the balcony. I'll just have a quick clean up out here. And then we'll check that we've cleaned everything. Now we're doing a few little marks out here. I guess there's some splash marks at the uh, roof edge again here. We saw some of that from outside down the front, didn't we? We said we hoped we could reach it from the balcony up here. And I think we can. Alright, so if we get to the railing... Yes, we can reach it. Beautiful. Hopefully that means we don't need any scaffolding. There was a marker inside as well. Did we manage to get that? Lovely sea views. There's the road there. Yes, yeah, so you've not actually got direct access to the road. You've kind of got to go off-road to come in here to park. Well, we have got a proper drive, so there must be a way to get access, because it's designed that way, isn't it? Did I get everything? I think we got everything. That's a really nice view, isn't it, from the top of here down? Yes, it's an interesting space, isn't it, to turn this little warehouse into a, a home. It's an interesting workspace. I think we've cleaned all the marks. I'm not seeing anything on the mini map. Beautiful. Yep, so that's the warehouse all cleaned up. So a warehouse full memories all cleaned up, ready to go. We're going to be taking the garage door out and turning it into part of the house according to the instructions. There we go. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy game!